Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and uh, you know what? Sometimes uh, the slab comes back like a good, in every good scary movie, the killer always comes back to life. And sometimes you just gotta slap the bottle. And today uh, we're back with the Synthetic Oil Protection Machine. This is my personal work truck, and uh, we work on her all the time. She's uh, she's amazing. She's been so easy, so so easy driving, amazing vehicle. But today we're going to be talking about three Amsoil products that will really help your vehicle out uh, in the summer heat this summer. So number one, we got the low toxicity biodegradable coolant. This right here is what we already have in the synthetic oil protection machine. And today we're doing a follow up after one year and basically we're just going to add a little bit of this dominator coolant boost now what this is this is a tri-tiered surfactant technology it allows the water molecules to get closer to the aluminum better heat transfer you're going to have a, a up to 25 degrees lower operating temperature and uh, what i do is i run this car with a little bit more distilled water so it's better for the high heat out here and um, the biggest power difference on this car was when I changed the intercooler fluid, which we're gonna show you in a second. But this is a 13.6 quart coolant system. Uh, we're running about 66% uh, distilled water, 33% concentrate. So we're gonna be adding our additive. This is good for one year or 30,000 miles, whichever comes first. And basically the chemical in there, that surfactant breaks down. So we replenish the system is what we call it. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw this in. We got our bottle here. We got our 13 ounces, which is gonna treat the proper amount. And all we do is just throw it in. And now we got our intercooler fluid. So you run this uh, one ounce per uh, a quart of 50-50, two ounces of additive per quart of straight distilled water. So since we're running, I would say about 75% uh, distilled water in the intercooler, which cools the turbos and allows that cold air to go into the motor, you have more moles of oxygen going in the motor, you're gonna make a lot more power. So we're gonna put in uh, five ounces of this stuff. So here we go. We got our five ounces going into the intercooler reservoir. See, we started at 10. We're right near six. We're gonna go a little bit more, just a smidge. And I'm happy with that. And how the Amsoil motor oil is different is it's 100% synthetic. So when you actually buy a full synthetic, they're actually not full synthetic. They're actually 25% synthetic or more. So you say, well, even what the heck would that look like? So if you think of these perfectly round molecules being 100% synthetic, same size, same shape, much more complete film strength, keeping the metal parts separated, less friction, less heat, less wear, this would be like a mineral oil. So basically, when you get those full synthetics um, at most of the, the major big box stores, you're getting a watered down synthetic oil. And uh, you say, well, even how much better is Amsoil? Well, here you go, six times better in the Detroit diesel uh, cylinder liner scuffing test. So they actually measure the wear protection and uh, it's just truly amazing the liquid gold, what it does. And uh, once you try the product, you'll realize how it's actually worth, in my opinion, more than the weight in gold. This gold is something you just fondle, you look at, you don't really get anything out of a little bit of gold. This right here is gonna protect your vehicles. So you could potentially have a vehicle like this about two to four, to two to four times longer than an OEM vehicle by running the OEM fluids. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you, this is basically, if you think of this Tropicana, this is your synthetic blend or your uh, full synthetic. See, it says 10% juice. So basically it's just a bunch of sugar water and that's basically what you're getting when you get a lot of those other big name brands. And if you wanna see how Amsoil Signature Series is four times better in turbocharger deposit testing than Mobile One Extended Performance. Check that out down in the description section below. If you're on a laptop desktop, click Show More. If you're on a smartphone, you're gonna see a little reverse down arrow. Click that down arrow and you'll see everything down there. 
Now what we're gonna get into now is the giveaway. So leave a comment within the first uh, half hour of any of the new videos, and we give all kinds of different tools away in the channel. Now Amsoil is the leader in lubr lubricants, and uh, basically um, price is what you pay, value is what you get. So if you think about the actual value of Amsoil, it's not even close to anything else in the market. So with this car, we went 15,500 miles on one oil change. Most people that run Mobile One, you know, to use a regular name brand, they would go about 5,000 miles out here in the heat. So I went three to one of city driving and the oil was still good on this car. And uh, so now we're on to our snap-on tools. This is what we're giving away. Our snap-on pliers, super high quality. And these are the ratcheting type. And uh, truly amazing how true they are. But to give you an idea of how good snap-on is, on a Rockwell hardness test, uh, if a diamond is about 60 on the scale, snap-on metal is actually a 52. And the next closest tools in the market, like a Mac, are about 38. So if you do the percentage from 52 to 38, it's not even comparable. And I'm gonna squeeze these as hard as I can. My left arm's the best, but I want you to see how much this stretches on the count of three. One, two, three. I mean, I can barely even flex these pliers. So we're giving these away. We're also giving away a couple of little guys, which are great for refined things. A little pair of pliers here, which we've never given away before. And we got our little snips. And these are uh, super, super rigid, triple heat treated, and just amazing how true they are um, for snipping little cables and stuff. And a good tool gives you a lot of confidence too, just like the Amsoil gives you confidence in your vehicle. Now, we're gonna go take these fuel additives down to Henderson, to the Snap-on guy, that he's my Snap-on dealer, and we're gonna go use these in his personal Ford Focus RS. Well, take a look. All right, we're here with my good man Mike in his Snap-on truck, and he's got his beautiful Ford Focus, which we've never had one on the channel yet. And this is the super psychotic rally edition. And what are you averaging miles a gallon right now, Mike? 16.3. 16.3, here we go, go for the shove. We're gonna penetrate both flaps. He's already got his funnel. And they, that comes with the car because you gotta get through both flaps or else it'll leak all over the ground, so be careful. So it's that easy, that goes in every 4,000. He's got that one. And now here comes the Octane Booster. This thing will help with pre-ignition, engine knock. It'll get your motor to run a lot smoother in the high RPM. You're gonna have a cleaner, more complete burn. Gulpa, gulpa, gulpa. And uh, you'll notice more horsepower, especially when it's hot out. You'll probably notice on a car like this, I'm guessing 11 to 20 wheel horsepower is my guess but we gotta get Mike's estimate later on. And uh, we'll be back. Anything you wanna tell him about this car, Mike? Anything we should give him any info on? It's 300 horsepower, 300 foot pounds, 350 foot pounds of torque. It's a fun little car to drive. If you can get one, get one. All right, what the heck? We'll go get some driving impressions and see uh, what the instantaneous results are. Let's see. Wow, the AC is amazing. That AC is phenomenal. Got the rally seats. Wow, this thing feels good. That looks beautiful. Wow. Just that little bit. What's the difference? Right 
definitely tell there's power difference for sure. Wow. So now, uh, what type of fuel did you say you usually run? I run 91 octane from Costco. All right, so he should have some. video test coming up so definitely subscribe and we'll be back for the dyno video on uh, my car and some other cars bonus tip you want to keep the efficiency of your radiator at its best by keeping it clean we're using a, a diluted five to one simple green this basically delaminates all the dirty bugs all the film the dust the dirt the grime that goes into your whole radiator this also has an oil cooler up front so you want to spray that as well and then the inner cooler radiator is actually over here. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the heck out of it with our simple green. That's gonna help get a lot of that bugs and all that dirt off there. And then we're gonna go ahead and rinse her off with some water. If you wanna really clean it even better, you can use a foam that you can get. It's called coil cleaner. And that's for condensers and all kinds of uh, air conditioning units. It's a little can, it's, uh, it's water soluble. This is also pet friendly and biodegradable, so you're not gonna hurt the environment when you go to rinse it off. And uh, you can use both of them. And I highly recommend doing this every single summer. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, saturate her. And now it's time to go rinse her off with the hose. Oh, and if you're loving this content, go ahead and uh, slap that thumbs up button. That lets people know it's a great piece of content. All right. All we do is just rinse her off. And if you want to be super due diligence, you can actually take off the belly pan and actually go up and clean each fin with like a little toothbrush. Or if you have a little metal pick, you can actually straighten the vents. So say you want your radiator to be almost perfect. You can take a couple hours and go ahead and straighten all those little uh, fins. Hey, if you love this video, I wanted to mention one thing down below in the description section all my links are down there if you ever want to try the m's oil products i would personally be your go-to guy if you use my link which i thoroughly appreciate the business future business in advance and i wanted to mention everything i've done to the synthetic oil protection machine you can do to your car and that's the playlist right here check it out and we will see you back next time right here on synthetic oil protection Cheers to protection, protection, protection.